<sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I don't have time again. The mosquitoes told me you up. Oh, man. You gotta stop, y'all. This nonsense. This foolishness. Goodness. Hey. Anyway, you know, first time you know, the Falcons lost. I ain't watched the game, so I ain't gonna talk about it. You know, red skins, you know. I think the Falcons choked the lead. I think the Falcons was up, and they choked that again, yeah, you know. Uh, oh, well, I don't wanna talk about Falcons. You know what I'm here to talk about. Week five, college football review, man. Recap, whatever you wanna call it. Man, it sound good to say that, you know what I mean. Like, we in week five already, you know. Georgia got Auburn up next. And Bama got Tessa in them. Man. You know, the funny thing is, you know, Auburn fans talking about we want Georgia. We want Georgia. <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much, cause like right now, I, you know, I'm gonna get into it. But, you know, I ain't gonna say too much. You know, we seen how that walk out for Arkansas. You know? and, and I'ma just say this, last year Auburn ranked seven when Georgia played them, and they had sense of business. You know, a lot of people had Auburn beating Georgia, and we seen that, we know how they went out. It was 27-3, something like that. 27-6. And I stopped the food since I Auburn fans. You know, but hey. Uh, speaking of Auburn, you know, while I'm speaking of Auburn, you know, Auburn versus LSU. Uh, Auburn surprised me. I thought LSU for sure. You know, I think they, they won LSU and lost to Auburn and Death Valley since, I think, in 1999. And guess who did it? Coach O? That's, that's a bad loss. That's a bad loss for Coach O. You know, I'm gonna get into LSU. Talk about LSU next, cause you, you'll go into it. But Auburn, oh I mean, Bonez did his thing, you know. At first, he, he got off slow, you know. And bro had like two Heisman type plays. Like, you know, I, he had one play where he ran around. Like, all LSU look lost. Like, he was doing the same thing. He was running back 30 yards and run up 30 yards through the line of scrimmage. And, and run close to out of bounds and throw the ball. Now, LSU couldn't stop it. One play he scored a touchdown to Jake Fromm, brother, like. Uh, uh. First, it was like, okay, Bo Nick, but also it was like tackling, like it was just reaching out for him, missing tackles. Like, bro, the Auburn, Auburn came to LSU. I thought for sure LSU was gonna at least win by 10. But what Auburn did to them last year, man, Auburn, <laughs> Embarrassed them last year. And I thought for sure LSU was gonna be hungry for this game and beat Auburn by like at least 10 to 15 points, you know. But no, Auburn almost beat LSU by the 15, 10, 10 points, 15 points, whatever. I can't remember the score. I think it was 34, 27, something like that. I can't even remember. It was it was pathetic. Like LSU should not have lost that game. But Auburn got to do it. You know, now they got Jordan the week. In Jordan Hare Stadium, gonna be an electric game, you know. Uh, oh yes, like I said, on LSU, UCLA gets upset by Arizona State. Arizona State dominated UCLA, which is now that UCLA lost that <laughs> LSU got makes it a little worse than it already is, like. Coach O, like, I'm ready that Coach O can save himself is if he beat Bama, and he beat Florida, and he beat Texas and them, and wins out and win the bowl game. That's the only way he can maybe lose to Bama or Florida. Or Bama slash Florida, but the rest he got to win. He got to beat Arkansas. He got to beat Ole Miss, you know, and all the other teams, like, that's, that's horrible. Like, Coach O might be out of there. And the thing is, the scary thing is, well, I already said, like, I, Coach O go, I'm pretty sure LSU, they they they, they find all the paychecks at Lane Kiffin. If Lane Kiffin goes to LSU, and he get to work with five-star QBs and five-star and high four-star wide receivers and running backs and offensive linemen and defensive players. Like, oh, man, that's scary. But... You no, know, on the Auburn LSU game, you know, I'm gonna skim through it and then talk about most of the SEC game. Uh, Iowa, <laughs> Iowa straight embarrassed Maryland. That, that was a beating. That was a beating. I think two of brother through like seven, six, seven interceptions. It was like, it, it was hard to watch, you know. 
uh, Penn State, murders Indiana. Indiana's not the same team. That's what I'm saying about the Big Ten teams. It's like Minnesota, like Big Ten teams, like they always have one good team. And it's like, oh, this, they hype them up. Oh, Minnesota, Indiana, like they gonna keep on going. Then next year, they they right back the way they're from. Like Minnesota, Minnesota won like Lamb games in 2019. You know, we even beat Auburn in the bowl game. Then 2020 happened. And then 20, you know, right, right back where they won out of good 50 years. You feel me? Like, that's how it is. Like, Wisconsin, you know, Wisconsin um, played Michigan. Michigan dominated them. Yeah, Wisconsin. I don't know what to say about Wisconsin. You know, got dominated by Michigan. You know, uh, it's, it's pathetic. Like, these big team teams, you know, they get hyped up, hyped up. Then they rep back where they, you know, rep back to their normal self. Like Minnesota, you know, uh, Iowa doing good, though. I mean, Iowa, you know, Iowa always, you know, I can say about Iowa, Iowa's a, no matter what they rep, like, they, they constantly a top 20 team. Like, that's what you get out of Iowa. But now they're a top five team right now. I think they're, like, ranked fourth right now. A third or fourth. Then they were in third, yeah. Yeah, third. I think it's Georgia. I mean, Bama, Georgia, and Iowa. Something like that. Well, once you get out of Iowa, Iowa always going to be consistently, you know, a top 20 team, 20th team, top 15, 20th team. But Wisconsin, that's pathetic. You know, Indiana looking horrible. Uh, uh, it's crazy. Uh, on to the next game. Talk about Cincinnati, Notre Dame. Cincinnati. Cincinnati, I mean, they very well could make final make the playoffs. Like, you know, they can. I hope they do. Or Luke Fickle doing this thing. Uh, Cincinnati going to the Big 12, you know. Recruiting should pick up for uh, Cincinnati, you know. Uh, Notre Dame. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Like, they, they got barracks. Like, Jack, uh, Jack Cone, he look horrible. Everybody, all of Notre Dame QB is a little horrible. You know, Desmond really did his thing. You know, yeah. it, it was a spinning for Notre Dame. You know, they probably gonna lose to North Carolina or somebody in Virginia Tech, one of them. You know, but not out of the playoffs. Uh, Bama Ole Miss, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> that game was over. It was like 35 to 7, 35 0, 20. It was like 20 0 at one point. You know, I had those off on the game. You know, Lane Kim to like get some pop, get your popcorn ready and all that. Then, like he don't know how to punt. I mean, I know it's Bama, and Bama, you know, you, you gotta try to get points as much as you can. But Lane Kiffin, like he went for it four times in a row, four now. He went for it four times in a row. Then pan Bama, then make Bama, you know, get in the red zone. Or whatever. They, you know, the end of the back long, where like the five yard line, four yard line, pin them deep or nothing. He just kept on going forward and give Bama like only 60 yards to go, 55, 40 yards to go, and, and it was ugly. And it was like 35, seven at one point, 28 0. And the game ended like 42 21. Uh, Florida, Kentucky made a video. <laughs> oh, man, but Florida. I don't want to say about Florida. Florida, it, 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 like Josh Prey. Like a lot of Florida fans were like, oh, Bama. We lost to Bama by two points. And, and oh, we waited for Georgia. We gonna beat Georgia. I mean, you probably could beat Georgia, but I oh, you just go to down. I'm watching the uh, Tampa Bay New England game. It's a good game. Now, low scoring game. But anyway, I got off track. I get off track for that. But yeah, all like Florida fans, like they, they lost to Bama by two points. And just skip all the, the schedule. Like me, I told y'all, I'm taking one game at a time. Definitely not. I'm going to speak on it later. But, like, you know, I'm taking one game at a time. You know, I ain't looking ahead of nobody. You know, there ain't no guarantee Georgia even make it to the SEC championship. You know, right now it's looking like it. But, we, you know, it ain't nothing guaranteed to like it. You know. But, yeah, Florida looked past. They lost to Alabama. I mean, by two points. They're like, oh, we, we ready. We ready. We, we Gators. We going to make the playoffs. And then it's like, nonetheless, okay, beat Blowout Tennessee. Like, okay, I'm going to get that game to Tennessee. 
Yeah. Okay, then it's like, then you lose a Kentucky. You have like 55 false starts. That game ain't no Emory Jones. I mean, that was a horrible interception. You know, but as soon as Florida got that kick blocked for a touchdown, I like, yeah, they might lose this one. And, then they, and they did. You no, know, you can't have false starts after false starts. So 31, 32, 33. And third and four, so you get a false start, and he, he, on the quarterback, you know, kind of already struggling. You know, Kentucky did their thing. I mean, Kentucky showed up when they needed to. You know, good deal by Kentucky. Florida, your season over. You know, like <laughs> even if, like y'all out of the playoffs already. You know, you didn't even play LSU and Georgia yet. Uh, you know what it is. You know, and by all means, y'all lose to Florida State. Oh man. I don't know, speaking of Florida State, Florida State finally got to do it against Syracuse. You know, ain't much talk about that, you know. Now you got Florida State fans talking about they're going to win out, uh, you know, go like 75 or something like that. Can't remember, 84, 75, you know. It, 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 I ain't going to listen to Florida State fans. Uh, speaking of back with Tennessee, Tennessee absolutely embarrasses Missouri. Like, oh my goodness, I think it's it. Tennessee dropped 62 points on Missouri. Like, Missouri, what is y'all doing? Missouri had all this hype in all season. Like, they was going to be, like, the team, the second-best team in the East. You know, they was going to beat Florida, beat Kentucky, and beat Tennessee, and, you know, be, like, a scary team in the East. You know, which is – they have it fooled, too. But, dog, oh, man, like, uh, it's still early. But, dog, oh, that's a bad look. That's a bad – that's a horrible loss. You don't just lose to Tennessee at home. You let them put up 62 points, you don't even crack 30. Horrible. Uh – on this game, Oregon, Stanford, Oregon, they disappointed once again. I always have a last year. I mean, two years, last year was Oregon State, and <laughs> the year before that was uh, Arizona State. And like Oregon, and it's like, man, like what's wrong with Oregon? Like it was hyped up, number three ranked team. Then you you choked the Stanford. The Pac-12 just beat each other up. You know, um, trying to think of some more games. If I get into the main subject, no, I'm trying to think. I don't want to. Uh, Wake Forest, Wake Forest looking good this year, man. Wake Forest doing their thing. Like, for real, for real. Wake Forest, like, I think right 19 now. I ain't doing anything. Uh, Tennessee and them, Mississippi State. Oh, my goodness. It's like, Tennessee and them quarterback, like, Calzone, I call him Calzone because he's soft. You me? <laughs> like, man, you would think Tennessee would have home field advantage. You know, all the Aggies and all that. And Mississippi State came in and did their thing. Like, Mississippi State, you know, could very well, I mean, that game they lost against Memphis, you know, that was a uh, tough, tough loss. Uh, but, yeah, they, they could. I was going to say, like, I don't even, it ain't going to be a murder. I think Belmont going to drop 35, 40. Beat Tennessee and them by 25, 30 points, you know. Because as you've seen, the home field advantage don't mean nothing. When, when your quarterback, you know, he lost. So, I mean, if it's tough that Haynes King got hurt. But it's, it's hard. So, Bama losing to Tennessee and them out the door. I don't see it happening. You know, the game probably going to be over in the second quarter. You know, just like Ole Miss and Bama. But who knows? Maybe, maybe, you know. There's nothing guaranteed and the injuries happen. Maybe Bryce Young get hurt and, and whoever the second string quarterback comes in and throw by our picks, two pit scissors and Tess and them get upset or whatever. I don't know. But Tess and them Mississippi State, Tess and them folded. There was so many upsets this this week. Like you had Oregon, Mississippi State. Even Fresno State lost to Hawaii. Fresno I thought for sure Fresno State was gonna beat them by 25 points. And they lost to Hawaii. You would after they, you know, Oregon. They almost beat Oregon and beat other. So you got Oregon, uh, Florida, uh, Fresno State, Notre Dame. Well, Notre Dame since they had already an upset, you know, except for, you know, the history of Notre Dame and all that. But they, they had it coming. I mean, oh, my goodness. Clemson, like, I don't know what's going on with Clemson. Like, they, they got knocked out of the top 25. They ain't happened since, I think, they said, like, since 2014. Clemson ain't been out of the top 25 since 2014 or something like that. And they outside of the top, I mean, not top 14, top 25. 
you know, against the game against uh, Boston College. It's tough. Like, I think LSU broke Clemson. LSU really broke Clemson. Ohio State <laughs> and Georgia just took what was left over them and, and shipped it off. You know? Uh, trying to think of some more games. Before I get. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, it gonna, as soon as I answer it out, you know, it, it, it's going to come back to them. Oh, yeah. Oklahoma, Kansas State. And Oklahoma, you know, they just don't look good. Oklahoma, they tired of coming. They play Texas soon. You know, Texas barely escapes. Um, can't remember who it was. They're going to come back to me after the video. But, yeah, Texas, you know, they got it. Oh, yeah, TCU. Texas escapes TCU. Uh, Oklahoma State beat Baylor, you know. Tough loss for Baylor. But now to the main thing I want to talk about. Georgia, Arkansas. <sighs> that was a, that was a beat down. Like that game was over in the first quarter. You know? Like, <laughs> like it, it is tough. Like, Arkansas is a good team, but as you can see, Georgia not Texas. They definitely ain't Texas that new. And like then they said uh, the the stadium got louder. I think the Penn State versus the Auburn game was like 106 decibels, and Georgia cracked 110 and 112 at one point, 114 at one point. Like Georgia, Georgia and people, Georgia. I'm telling you, Georgia Stadium underrated, dog. Georgia Stadium really is underrated, but hey, what it is. And, and speaking of recruits, it's like Florida, Florida, Miami, Tennessee, them LSU, Florida State. Like they helping Georgia a bit time. Like, you know, in Missouri, like Missouri with, with um, Luther Burden, the Rob Seaver, five star Rob Seaver, uh, Florida with Julian Humphrey, and Miami, them, Miami and LSU with um, Kamari Wilson. Like, they helping us big time. Like, Georgia Cruden finna take off. Like, they helping us. Like, eh. <laughs> Ohio State with N.A. White. You know, because they do even a little suspect. Yeah, Ohio State blowed out Rutgers, you know. They dominated Rutgers. You know, but Georgia, Arkansas, you know, Arkansas had it coming. You know, Traylon Smith, he was talking to John. He was like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, well, about Nolan Smith coming on um, touchdowns, you know, and all that. About the Patriots coming. Now, y'all all prepared. Somehow we want Georgia. Y'all going to get us. You is. I'll make a video on that. You going to get us. We going to be ready. Uh, Jordan Hare, you know. But, uh. Yeah, and, and this thing I was talking about, like, about Georgia. Like I said, Georgia, Georgia playing games don't scare me. Like, playing South Carolina, Missouri, Kentucky. Like, those games don't scare me. Like, what scared me is injuries. Like, injuries what scared me. Like, I'm more about, I'm more scared about Georgia players getting hurt than the actual outcome of the game, you know. Because J. Like I say about Georgia, I like, ain't no guarantee Georgia gets to the um, SC championship. Cause like JG Davis, like I, he's scaring me. Like it's a top eight matchup. I mean, even though Arkansas might not be a top eight team, like film wise, but they did their job. They beat Texas and them. They beat Arkansas. I mean, they beat Texas and them. They beat Texas. They did their thing. You know, it was like four and zero. So they played Georgia. We were arguably the best team. You know, now they're going to play Ole Miss and Texas. And Ole Miss and Arkansas, they're going to be a good game. Hopefully, Arkansas, uh, Arkansas win and make Georgia look better. You know, but Ole Miss probably going to win. But, you know, so it's like you got that. And then JT Daniels, like he a top eight matchup. And, and you can't play because first it was your oblique. Now it's your, your shoulder. Like, he, he scared me. Like, I only, it, it's not even no guarantee he gonna play versus Auburn. <clears throat> and I don't wanna have Stetsa Bennett playing against Auburn. I hope, like, in a crowd like this, all them fans, and Auburn defense good. Like, they defense good. Well, better than last year. Way better than last year. And you got Derrick Mason calling plays on defense. And, 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 and Stetsa Bennett get rattled, throw an interception or two. Which he most likely gonna throw it. Like he 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 supposed to throw it in the to get Arkansas in the red zone. But luckily the dude dropped it and we got the field goal. Like every time Stetson Bennett throw the ball, I get scared. 
I don't feel that with JT Daniels. What, what I feel with JT Daniels is when he get, you know, when he take a hit and like he might get hurt or something, you know, like a sack. I don't feel that with him throwing the ball, I don't feel that with JT Daniels. Every time JT Daniels throw the ball, I feel like something good gonna happen. You no, know, honestly, but every time Stetson Bennett throw the ball, I get scared. Cause I feel like he gonna be on the throne or the ball gonna get tipped you know, for interception or he gonna throw an interception. You know, I thought he, like he forget, like he don't have an arm. Like he see it and he feel like, oh, I can make that throw. But it's like, no, Patriots just score touchdown. <clears throat> anyway, and, 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 and the defender get a um, play on it. Like, so Georgia, it, it, like, Georgia the best team right now. But I don't put no more with Jack or uh, Belma until JT James show he's reliable and that he can play. Like, we can't have JT Daniels miss all my game, then <clears throat> play, play the on um, with Tennessee. I think we got to uh, at the Auburn, I think Missouri, Tennessee. No, we played Tennessee in November. I think it's Missouri. Then you can't have him miss the Auburn game, then then play Missouri, then hurt some again, hurt uh, a wrist sprain, a right hand wrist sprain, and then it's questionable that he gonna play versus Florida. Like we can't have that, man. We can't we can't do that. Like you're not gonna beat Florida or Auburn. But, Attempting uh completing eleven passes. Like that's what that's what um I think Sessa been he was like eleven for seventeen versus Arkansas. Something like that. You know, you, you're not gonna have that. Hey, you're not. But either way, I'm trying to get you know, I ain't trying to, I made a video twenty two minutes long. But yeah man, I'm out man. I made some more videos with Georgia Auto. Test that them Jabama. You know, we got Oklahoma Tech like Good games after good games. Again, Ole Miss, Arkansas. But yeah, man, I'm out. Yes, sir.